Hello, I'm Ross Atkins with Outside Source. This is the extraordinary story of climate change. Vaccines for Ukraine. Let's look at some of the international reaction. Tell us what you've been hearing. In practical terms, what does that mean? And let's just remind ourselves, this is all part of the same story. Piece the story together with Ros Atkins. Outside Source on BBC World News. This is BBC News. Welcome if you're watching here in the UK or around the world globe. I'm Sean Lay. Our top stories this hour. Russia says it's hit a weapons factory in the Ukrainian capital, Kyiv, which produces anti-ship and air defence missiles. The claim comes after Ukraine said its missiles hit a Russian flagship, which sank yesterday. Ukraine says not all of the 500 crew were successfully rescued by the Russians. More than 150 Palestinians are injured in clashes with Israeli police at Jerusalem's holy site. Almost 400 people are confirmed to have died in floods in KwaZulu and Tal province in South Africa. Authorities say it's the worst flooding in decades, and they've warned that weather is due to deteriorate again. From the sands of Nevada to England's greenest hills, sculptures from the Burning Man Festival in the United States find a temporary new home. Hello and a warm welcome if you've just joined us. We begin this hour with the announcement of the Russian Defence Ministry has warned it will intensify and affect attacks around the Ukrainian capital, Kyiv, after accusing Ukraine of targeting Russian border towns. Moscow says its sea-based cruise missiles have struck a factory outside Kyiv which produces anti-ship missiles, including the type which, according to Ukraine, hit Russia's flagship, the Moskva. The ship eventually sunk on Thursday. Ukraine's Coast Guard now says the Russians did not, after all, manage to evacuate all 500 crew members. From Lviv in western Ukraine, Dan Johnson reports. 